Tonight, family, friends, and the fiancé of a woman murdered while out for a run in Washington, D.C., are remembering the woman who they say fought to the last breath. Wendy Martinez was stabbed to death on Tuesday in what police are calling a random act of violence. And as her family grieves an unbearable loss, they are praising police for quickly catching the suspect. Amazing. Wendy Martinez's loved ones say the quick arrest of a suspect in her murder has only slightly softened their grief. My heart has been broken in a thousand pieces. Her mother, Cora, urged mourners at a candlelight vigil last night to live by her daughter's example. My daughter fought up to the last breath. She fought courageously. You do the same. Police say they tracked down the man in this grainy surveillance video, Anthony Crawford, in a park Wednesday night about a mile north of the crime scene. The 23-year-old is charged with first-degree murder. His motive, unknown. But police don't believe it was a robbery or that the suspect knew Martinez. Martinez was out running Tuesday night, waiting for the light to change when Crawford allegedly stabbed her seven times. She sought help inside a nearby Chinese takeout restaurant, but the 35-year-old collapsed and was later pronounced dead at the hospital. Martina's death came seven days after her fiancé, Daniel Hincapie, proposed. You know, I'm going to keep her alive by helping her achieve the dreams that she wanted to achieve. Hincapie said Martinez, an avid runner, was trying to qualify for the Boston Marathon, but the South Florida native's ultimate goal was to help poor women in Nicaragua, where her parents are from. Her younger brother, Juan Carlos, called her his role model. Cora Martinez said the week following her daughter's engagement was the happiest of her life. She says because of her Christian faith and the outpouring of support from the community, she feels no hatred for Martinez's killer. I'm sad, but at the same time, I'm not resentful. I have chosen to forgive, and I forgive that person. Cora Martinez said she was with Wendy last weekend when she bought her wedding dress. She never imagined the next time she would see her daughter wearing that gown would be at her funeral.